I'm not sure I meant to have my feet up on my desk, but sometimes after a long day, oh, it's just needed. Well, that's off, that's done. Oh dear, it's a bit of a mess in here. Great. So that's my jacket that I've just chucked on the chair that I used today, so that needs to be tidied up. Over here, piles of more stuff, so I've got my diary to sort out. This book I can't wait to read, I've not had time yet. One of my PhD students works on quantum dots. Um, they're really cool, but uh, more on that another week. But yeah, that's a textbook I need to read. A pile of papers at the bottom, what's over here? Kuntz, and which groups they're in for the various projects. Oh, bag of stuff. My university notebook, which I've almost filled up, so I need to do another one. And then just general stuff on the desk to sort out. So sometimes I get asked, you know, what is actually the job of being a lecturer? And so I'm a lecturer in physics, and there's three main parts to my job. The first part is research. I'm here studying physics because I absolutely love researching and exploring new ideas. Um, in particular for me, I like nuclear physics, like looking at the heart of the atom, looking at the protons and the neutrons. Um, I specialise in radiation, so radioactive decay. I look at how we apply mathematical models and techniques and maths approaches to predict outcomes or to look for patterns in data. So that's part of my job, research. Um, another part of my job is obviously teaching. I teach the first year students and I teach the master students. So depending on which semester I'm in, I'll have various classes I have to take. I've just finished my first semester teaching for 2019-2020 students. So I was teaching them the fundamentals of physics, which I really enjoyed. And now this coming term, this semester, I now lead on a module uh, for the master students, which is the extended group project. They work on independent research topics as a small team, and they have to write a research paper at the end. So teaching is another key part of being a lecturer. And obviously you're part of a department. So I'm part of the physics department at my university, and we all take on various roles and responsibilities to make sure the department runs smoothly. I'm on the outreach committee, so I do a lot of chatting about science and I help coordinate it with the, the team that I'm in. And then the other thing I do is I'm the admissions tutor. I look after our applications to the university. Um, I control the UCAS process from our side, things like clearing and adjustment. I support students as they make their decisions as to whether to come to our university or not through applicant days and open days and we run various extra events throughout the year to help students and of course I work with our local um, further afield schools and colleges to help look for the next generation of aspiring scientists. Yeah, the job of a lecturer is sort of divided into three categories. You've got your research, which is kind of what brings you to the university and what you're there to study and explore. You've got your teaching, where you take on certain courses and you can put your own knowledge and experience into the classroom as well. And then your admin duties, where you help out the rest of the department, and mine's being the admissions tutor. Anybody who watched Vlogmas, so for the first time last year, I attempted to do vlogging every day through December, which was a bit of an adventure. Um, but I featured my plants a few times. I've only got one plant back in the office, but doing very well, I think, because I'm actually remembering to water once a week makes all of the difference. I've come into the university and I work as a lecturer. Now, some people join the university and they want to work maybe as a research fellow. And so if you're a research fellow, you can take out the teaching job and you can take out a bit of the admin of the job and you more exclusively focus on research. And if you want to come in as a teaching fellow, it's the opposite way around. So you take out some of the research, you take out a little bit of the admin, and you focus on the teaching. Um, I'm greedy. I wanted a mix of all three. So that's why I'm a lecturer, because I get to do teaching, research, and admin. I have a couple of laboratories here at the university, and we do a whole range of different experiments supporting some of our projects. So mainly centred around radiation and we're either trying to find radiation or measure it or quantify it or find it in an unusual place. So I'm trying to find radiation signatures in places that are tricky and then I use a whole range of hardware and mathematical application tools to help. Um, and it's really good fun. It is really good fun. And then sometimes what I do is I take those ideas that we've used in the radioactive and nuclear community and I apply them to another discipline. 
And so that's what one of my project grants is doing right now. It's using some of the methods and mathematics that we've developed for one particular user group and saying, OK, well, actually, that's quite applicable in this case to the equine industry. And I'm looking at moving those ideas across and applying it to a different community. And I think that's one of the nice things about, it's one of the nice things about science is that you can take something you've learned in one area and actually you find it can help another area or another end user or another application group. So yeah, a little bit about what I get up to when I'm not doing the teaching and the marking. Um, but as I said, I need to finish this research grant, so I'm going to go on and crack on with that. And then next week is the first week of semester. So the students are now back after their examination period and teaching will commence. And so I will see you for that. I'll see you in a week's time. Bye.